Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and keep watching more details. The Curse of Oak Island Preview There's a new discovery in the swamp as Rick investigates Templar Nights in Italy. We're approaching the end of Season 10 on The Curse of Oak Island, and things are really starting to heat up as there's a brand new discovery in the swamp. And the guys are also continuing their investigations in Italy as the evidence of a Templar Knight's voyage to the island continues to mount. This week's episode is called The Italian Job, a reference to the classic 1969 Michael Caine movie of the same name, and we'll see Rick and Alex Lagina, Peter Fornetti, and Doug Crowell continue their Italian adventure. Last week, the guys explored some ancient underground caverns beneath two medieval towns, where they came across various Templar-related symbols and carvings, symbols they had previously encountered in Nova Scotia. This helped add to the theory that members of the medieval order of Templar Knights may have buried treasures and ancient Christian relics on Oak Island. They also spoke to Adriano Gaspani, an expert in archaeoastronomy, who specializes in dating ancient stone structures, depending on how they align with the stars. Somewhat incredibly, he suggested Nolan's cross dates back to 1200 AD. This week the guys will be chatting with another expert, this one specializing in archaeology. A trailer shows Rick and Alex open-mouthed and in shock as they're told a couple of artifacts could be 1,000 years old. These artifacts appear to be the Roman coin and token found by the guys earlier this season on Lot 5. There's a new discovery at the Oak Island Swamp. Meanwhile, back on Oak Island, Billy Gerhardt and the guys are continuing to excavate the mysterious swamp area. They are convinced they've found a ramp connecting the 800-year-old paved area to the stone roadway. We're unsure of the details, but viewers can expect to see a brand new discovery tonight. It could be connected to the existing stone structures, or maybe they've finally located the ship thought to be buried beneath the swampy water, or it could be a completely new discovery. Above exploits are all confirmed in the History Channel synopsis for the episode, which reads, While an incredible new discovery is made in the triangle-shaped swamp, Rick Lagina and members of the team make shocking connections in Italy between the Knights Templar and the Oak Island Mystery. Also, on tonight's episode, the Dumas Mining Coming will finally reach the bottom of the garden shaft. After months of anticipation, the team will finally be able to start exploring the money pit area from underground. Marty Lagina finally gets to the bottom of the garden shaft. A trailer shows an excited Marty Lagina heading down the shaft to examine the bottom. He's hopeful that the team can finally make a breakthrough, stating we're very close to the actual treasure of the money pit. We can also expect to see the archaeologists doing more work on the strange circular stone feature on Lot 5. This structure has really piqued the interest of the guys since they learned it has the same dimensions as the original money pit. Tonight, geoscientist actor Ian Spooner is drafted in to investigate. The Curse of Oak Island has captivated audiences for years, spinning tales of buried treasure, enigmatic artifacts, and ancient mysteries. In the newest season, the intrepid Lagina brothers, Rick and Marty, dive deeper into the murky waters of the swamp unearthing a discovery that could reshape their understanding of the island's storied past. Meanwhile, Rick embarks on a parallel journey, tracing the footsteps of the legendary Templar knights in Italy, hoping to unlock secrets that might link the medieval order to the enigmatic island. The swamp, a notorious hotspot on Oak Island, has long been a source of frustration and intrigue for the team. Previous seasons revealed tantalizing hints, strange wooden structures, metallic objects, and signs of human activity dating back centuries. However, the latest discovery promises to be a game-changer. As the camera pans over the murky waters, the team uncovers a massive, well-preserved stone structure buried beneath layers of muck and vegetation. The structure's precise masonry and unique design hint at a sophistication far beyond what was previously assumed to be possible for early settlers or pirates. The find is electrifying. 
Experts on-site speculate that this could be a part of a larger network of tunnels or chambers, possibly leading to the fabled money pit. Theories abound, could this be a part of a hidden Templar vault, a repository for unimaginable treasures and secrets? The excitement is palpable as the team carefully documents the structure, preparing for a more thorough excavation in the coming weeks. Concurrently, Rick Lagina's quest in Italy adds an intriguing dimension to the unfolding mystery. Intrigued by historical accounts and recent findings suggesting a Templar connection to Oak Island, Rick delves into the heart of Italy, where the Templar knights once held sway. His journey takes him to ancient monasteries, crumbling castles and hidden chapels, each holding fragments of a larger cryptic puzzle. In Florence, Rick meets with renowned historians and scholars who reveal ancient manuscripts and maps that have never been seen by the public. One particular manuscript, a detailed account from a Templar knight, speaks of a voyage to a distant land across the sea, a land shrouded in mist and mystery. Scription is eerily reminiscent of Oak Island, sparking a theory that the Templars, fleeing persecution in the 14th century, could have secreted their treasures away on the remote island. Further clues emerge as Rick explores the Tuscan countryside. In an ancient village, he encounters a relic believed to be linked to the Templars, a weathered stone cross bearing an intricate design. Local lore suggests that this cross marks the final resting place of a Templar Grandmaster, whose last words hinted at a great secret hidden in the New World. The pieces of the puzzle seem to be falling into place, suggesting a connection between the Templar voyages and the enigmatic structures discovered on Oak Island. Back on the island, the team pushes forward with their excavation. They employ cutting-edge technology, including ground-penetrating radar and underwater drones, to map out the newly discovered stone structure in the swamp. The results are astonishing a series of interconnected chambers and passageways that seem to form a deliberate, albeit ancient, labyrinth. The craftsmanship is remarkable, raising questions about who could have constructed such an elaborate network, and why. Discovery sparks a flurry of hypotheses among the team and experts alike. Could this be a Templar stronghold, a refuge built to protect their most precious artifacts from the reaches of time and history? or perhaps it is a remnant of an even older civilization, one that predates the Templars, but shared their enigmatic, treasure-hoarding tendencies. The answers seem tantalizingly close yet frustratingly out of reach, driving the team to dig deeper, literally and figuratively. Rick's investigations in Italy yield another breakthrough. In a remote, mountainous region, he uncovers an ancient map that shows a series of symbols and coordinates. Cross-referencing these with the geography of Oak Island reveals a stunning correlation. The symbols on the map align perfectly with the known landmarks on the island, suggesting that the Templars, or their predecessors, had indeed charted a course to this mysterious land, encoding their knowledge in symbols that have stood the test of time. As the season progresses, viewers are treated to a blend of historical intrigue and modern-day treasure hunting. The parallel stories of Rick's Italian expedition and the team's swamp excavation create a rich, layered narrative, weaving together threads of history, legend, and cutting-edge archaeology. The discoveries made in both locations begin to intersect, painting a picture of a vast, centuries-old mystery that spans continents and defies easy explanation. The curse of Oak Island remains true to its roots, blending meticulous research with the thrill of the hunt. This season's revelations promise to push the boundaries of what is known about the island's history, suggesting that the quest for treasure is about more than gold and jewels, it's about uncovering the hidden truths of our shared past. As the Lagina brothers and their team press on, they invite viewers to join them on this extraordinary journey, promising that the greatest discoveries may still lie ahead. In the end, whether or not they find the fabled treasure, the real reward is in the quest itself, the search for knowledge, the thrill of discovery, and the enduring allure of one of the world's greatest mysteries.